Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play the Peacekeepers. We are now in stage seven. Dutch land Mordovia. And no matter and yes, stage seven. This ain't stage seven A, stage seven B, stage seven twelve. Nope, this is stage seven. That means every level that we've done leads here somehow. Even if we were just in a Japanese dojo. Or we came across a bridge that was connected to a desert. Somehow every level leads here. Meaning also that this that the this is the next the level to the last two levels. We're finally approaching end game, everybody. And boy. Is this stage not Actually, the stage is kind of neat, but there's nothing really spectacular about it. Yeah. Cool thing about the electrical attack is it kills anybody no matter how much health they have, except for bosses. Which you probably already have seen that by now. So. I guess it's time just to watch people die. In a montage of doom! Tempted to go a whole nother video with just using that voice again, but we're on an elevator. So, nah. Alright, just for giggles, because I can't really think of anything else to say. Alright, going down the elevator! Fighting some very big guys who just want to kill me by trying to grab me and suplex me. And. Yep, this hurts. Ow. Oh boy. You better get away from me. I will throw you into a wall. Which does no additional damage whatsoever. Die, monsters. Die. Going down the elevator again. And stuff. Suplex and ninjas and getting killed. Great, I'm off to a great start. Oh yeah, by the way, just so anyone's questioning which route I took since every route leads to this stage. This is continuing from my Japanese level route where I went through the Japanese dojo and whatever and this is the last area of this elevator so huzzah or something just more ninjas and blades so let's kick their butts by going whoosh and a kadoosh and boosh and noosh and koosh and boosh and coosh and kadoosh and now we can leave oh no big people throw them kill them with fire yep It's as exciting as this game gets, folks. Big people are getting thrown across the room somehow. Even though I do not look that strong, I'm throwing big people across the room and picking up med kits wherever I can find them. I love how this, how these bases are so full of med kits and barrels are just full of soda. And yeah, I'm gonna rag on this game now. This game's got problems. Like the fact that there's still no music in this game other than the intermission theme between stages. And I'm about to kill myself right there because I just decided to be like, Hey! Everybody, it's party time! Throw your hands up in the air and get slashed in the face. I decided to sacrifice getting the extra super throw in for getting a health box. Seemed like a good idea at the time. 
Mostly because I didn't want to die. Hey, look, it's the cool guys. They're cool. Because they're sitting around, cross their arms. They're cool. And they're like the easiest characters in this game, but they're cool. Just walking up to them, and they're suddenly either hanging on a wall or just sitting there and being all powerful. Being like, I'm cool. Cause I. None of the other characters in this game have animations like that. It's just weird. Like, the only characters with, like, any type of cool little things like that are these simple little Fenord guys. And they'll sit there with their arms crossed or hanging off a wall, and it's really cool. Every other enemy just seems bland, even though they're, like, ninjas and pirates and stuff. They just seem kind of bland and out of nowhere, and they're not all that really powerful. The only hard enemies in this game are the Baku, the the uh, one guy from the street level. And now we approach the throne. Alright, it's time for the final battle. Us versus this big guy. Now I'm guessing that depending on which route we take, I bet this changes somehow. I don't know. Oh no, not the curse of the ninja. What does that mean? Does that mean I want to kick your butt in about five seconds flat? Bet it does. Actually, it probably doesn't because these guys are not exactly hard, but they can be annoying. So let's electrocute them with fire. Wait. That makes no sense. But I said it anyway. Hurrah. Falcon rushing punch attack. And I can't cheap shot them to death. But I can electrocute them. And miss one because he disappeared off screen, that jerk. Oi. And now it's time to flying suplex these guys. Flying suplex of doom. No, I'm dead. And this fight is over right now. Charging tackle, tackle, tackle. Another mention of Tybalt. Who is this Tybalt who has never been introduced? Except in two dialogue boxes. I don't know. But, let's do it this time. Oh no, the enemy's plotting something. Warning! And I guess next time I'll see you for the finale of Let's Play the Peacekeepers. Take care, y'all.